We got Big Nate prepping the stone mold. Trying. This is trying. I'm trying to prep. It's fucking down. That should be good one. So as long as you don't have any overlapping areas. Good looking. I know I am. You got this big ugly black guy on the camera. So what I like to do is I put one on that line and then one right here across the other side. And these first strips, you put them on gently. You're just trying to hold it in place for now. Yeah. And you're gonna put four of these gentle ones, 90 degrees from each other, right across the top and the bottom. This is this is this whole thing is the easy part. So now you should be able to pick it up. And you see, I didn't stretch it, I didn't tighten it. It's just on there. So you should be able to pick up the mold without it shaking the part now, right? So we're good. Now, comes the part we want the bitch to be tight. So you're gonna take one, and just pick up a spot, it doesn't matter where. You're gonna start on one side, and hold, these are great because they have this little lip here. So you can grab that lip and really tighten it down. And then I go to the other side, and I do it there. Now I use cheap ass duct tape. Some people have this idea that you can only use Gorilla tape and they call bullshit on it. Duct tape, duct tape. Just buy more of the cheap shit. It'll be fine. This is like a dollar a roll. It's tighter. And you'll actually see, before I had that piece there, the mold will start to stretch. And you want it to look as spherical as possible. You know that. Yeah. This fucking bug's bugging for shit. Bro. I got a. Uh, I'm gonna have some bug spray somewhere. Okay. Uh, then when you look at it, you see it. As long as you have tape, it should be eight pieces all the way around that way. And that's all you need, for now. Just to keep it together, and so if you shake it, you don't hear any movement, and you've got a good seam going. Then comes the other part, where we tape it across the middle.
beautiful part about this is it doesn't have to be pretty. It's all about function. Spin, you see. So now what I was showing him on this was right here. There's a seam where the where the middle of this mold meets, and the top goes into the bottom that way. So there's a big seam under here. So I wanted to make sure we go down far enough under here that way no cement leaks out. Or if any does, it's not too bad. But we got it, so we're good. <laughs> 